ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. On the Cosmo and Cat Show. Emily, good morning. Welcome in. Hi, good morning. Thank you for listening. Thank you for reaching out to the Cosmo and Cat Show. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is kind of uh, uh, my SOS. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with Cody? I I don't know. Uh, we had a blast. I thought on our date, and it even ended with this like amazing kiss that I can't stop thinking about. <laughs> but now I'm just not hearing back from him at all. Well, let's see if we can figure it out. So, tell us what y'all did on the date and what led to that big old kiss. I mean, we just went out for dinner and drinks, and then we took a little walk, like a little night walk, and God, it was just, it was so good, I can't stop thinking about it. I know I keep stressing that, but I just don't know why you wouldn't call me back after that. But I mean, yeah, it was nothing crazy, just like, yeah, dinner, drinks, a nice little night stroll. It was really romantic, actually. And the kiss that we keep going back to. Emily, like Kat and I said, like, after one of our games, we're like... Man, she's a good maker outer. Like, wow, okay. Man, a kiss. And he's a, he's a great kisser. Yeah, okay. he's a great kisser. And I think I am too. So, okay. So, anything at all that you can think of from the walk, the dinner, the anything at all that you can think of as to why he might not be calling you back? You got, you know, anything? No, I, I, it's not like I texted him a million times or anything after. Yeah. I just texted him once to see if he wanted to make a plan for the weekend and. I just want to kiss him again. (laughs) (laughs) Aww. Well, is there anything else that we should know? Like anything that happened after the kiss or anything like that? I I, I I don't think so. Like, no. I can't think of anything weird or bad that happened. So when we call Cody, Kat, I can, r- remind me, now just go, Emily wants to kiss you again. Just hold off a little bit. <laughs> okay, you, you, you can leave that out, maybe. Yeah, right? Ease into I it. Yeah, I won't, yeah, we're going to yeah. leave that part out. I, I sound like Michael <laughs> Scott from The Office or something. Instead of, that's what she said. He wants to kiss you again. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's call him. Let's just call him. You hang out. Be quiet. We're going to uh, mute your phone or something here. We're going to play a song quick, and uh, let's just find out what the heck the deal with Cody is, okay? Okay, I'll be here. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. This is the Cosmo and Cat Show. Ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. On the Cosmo and Cat Show. I I don't know what to think about this, Cat. Like, I don't know. Emily just needs another kiss, though. I, I'll well, tell you that much. We learned that, yeah. She and uh, Cody had a nice dinner, a couple drinks, bundled up, went for a nice little stroll and shopping and whatever, and they had an amazing little kissing session at the end of the date, apparently, but now zero from him. Nothing. They're good maker outers, apparently. Right. Well, apparently, uh, not a good texture color backer is Cody. So let's call him and find out what the deal is. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is uh, is this Cody? Uh, Yeah, who's this? Hi, it's uh, Cosmo and Kat's here with me, too. Hi. We're, we're uh, Cosmo and Kat Morning Show, Y107, and we would love for you to join us on a, on a radio segment we do about dating and relationships. And uh-huh. It was a horrible description of the segment, but, you know, hey. Anyways, <laughs> um, so here's the deal, dude. Uh, we got your number from a girl named Emily. Remember, remember her? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. What would you, how would you describe her and your date? I mean, you know, she's cool, she's fun, but... I I just don't see it working out. Well, how come? What happened? Uh, Look, I I like fresh breath as much as the next person, but there's like too fresh, you know? Too fresh. What the heck are you talking about? It's like a rapper name. Yo, next hit from Too Fresh. Like her breath was too good or something? or Like so good it was bad. Like I felt like I was being stung by like a mint bee. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Stung by a mint bee? What is going on? So wait a minute. You're saying that she had she brushed her teeth or something before she kissed you, or what is going Look, on? I have I have no idea. I just know that it was too minty, and I wanted out of there. So you're you're ghosting her because her kiss and breath was too minty. You were. Well, this does not sound like a deal breaker, though. This sounds like hey, don't put a mint in your mouth right when you're fixing to make out with me. <laughs> 
Are you sure that's the only reason that you don't like her? I mean... Or that you ghosted her? That Honestly, yeah. She was a good kisser. It was a wow. good date. That was, that was the thing. All right, Cody. Well, we've got her on the phone. Would you be willing to chat with her real quick and talk to her about mistake, them? Dude. Two uh, good bros. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Emily, come here. Yeah, hi. Uh, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I, I did not think you'd pick up on the overly mintiness. <laughs> yeah, it was uncomfortably minty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I do. I do weirdly have an explanation, though. Oh. I, I did not even think about this. Uh, my friend, oh god, she got me these like super intense, jacked up mints, and she told me later it was a prank gift. And I knew they were strong, so I drank a bunch of water after I tried some because it's like jalapeno level mint, but I guess not enough. What? Oh no! Well, your friend has a really weird sense of humor. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And it, it it is a problem. It's come up before, and I'm definitely going to talk to her about this. Wow. <laughs> so you're saying that your breath was so minty because you got pranked? Yeah. It's so weird, but yes. Cody, Riddle? you definitely have to be up for giving Emily another chance. This is. Come on. I mean, like, are you no- cool with that? It was the only issue, you know. So. Yeah, and it's never going to happen again. I, I threw those away. <laughs> How about lots of onion soup on your next date, Emily? And then let's try that. No, kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> what do you think? Another date? What if we pay for it? Help out? That'd be cool. I mean, are you free this weekend? Uh, hey! <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I think I could fit you in and, and Tic Tacs only this time. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, thank you so much. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. This is the Cosmo and Cat Show.